crisis and the emergency risk communication. Communicating in a crisis is different. In a serious crisis, all affected people take in information differently, process information differently, act on information differently. In a catastrophic event, communication is different. Be first, be right, be credible. Crisis communication This structure represents communication command center, which consists of communication directors, command center coordinator, spokesperson or persons, internal communication officer, external communication coordinator, crisis special event coordinator, other support staff and volunteers, media managers, research and media monitoring, media support staff. The new communication tools, email, text or voice messaging, website, rapid prepared report warning system, hotlines, emergency voice warning boards, social media network. Communicating in a crisis, leadership and staff. Staff may go public to defend their reputation, media will put a full court media on staff. Develop procedure to support organization position. Warning early, need develops, the extended crisis is important. Support staff. Communicating in a crisis, prepare fact sheets, voice and email messages, update website, utilize staff, make decision on eliminations. What the public seeks from your communication? Five public concern, gain wanted facts, empower decision making, involve as a participant, not a viewer, Provide protection over resource. Recover or preserve well. Crisis and emergency risk communication impacts. Five organizational concern you need to execute response and recovery effort, decrease illness, injure and death, Avoid misallocation of limited resources, reduce remos surrounding recovery, avoid the wasting resource. Crisis communication life cycle. The first stage, pre-crisis, prepare faster alliances, develop consensus recommended action, Test message, evaluate plans. The next stage, initial, express empathy, provide simple risk explanation, establish credibility, recommend the actions, commit to stakeholders. The next stage, maintenance, further explain risk by population groups, Provide more background, gain support for response, empower risk benefit decision making, capture feedback for analysis. The next stage resolution educate a private public for future crises. Examine problems. Gain support for policy and the resources. Promote your organization rule. 
the final stage evaluation, capture lessons learned, develop an event SWOT analysis, improve plan, return to pre-crisis planning. Five communication failures. Mixed message from multiple experts. Information release late. Paternalistic, protective attitude. Not countering Remus and Matthew in real time. Public power struggles and confusion. Five communication steps that increase operational success. Execute a solid communication plan. Be the first source of information. Express empathy early. Show competence and expertise. Remain honest and open. Risk communication principles for emergencies. Don't over support. Consider controversial by some, a high estimate of harm modified downward is much more acceptable to the public than a low estimate of harm modified upward. When the news is good, state continued concern before stating supportive updates. Although we are not out of the crisis yet, we have seen a declining number of cases each day this week. This is a message can be explained to the public. Although the fire could still be a threat, we have them 85% limited. Under promise assurance and over deliver. Instead of making promise about outcomes, express the uncertainty of the situation and a confident belief in the process to fix the problem and address public safety concern. Message and audience. Public information release. You must determine what to release, when to release, how to release, where to release, who to release, why release. Audience relationship to event. In the middle of this shape, the crisis. The first must be concerned with first responders, victims, public health, medical, with the action message safety. The second public, immediately, outside, media, families of victims and the responders. No immediate action required, concern for safety and facts. The outer shape, international trade, industry, community, nation, elected officials. Match audience and concern. Audience, victims and their families concern about the opportunity to express concern about them. Politician, concern with personal safety. First responders, resource for response. Trade and the industry, Loss of revenue, liability. 
Community for Outside Disaster Preventive Guidance Media Family Safety Speed of Information Flow Five key elements to build trust Expressed empathy, competence, honesty, commitment, accountability To be successful in communication during crisis or disaster, you must have credibility and the trust. Credibility can achieve through accuracy of information and the speed of release. Trust can gain through empathy and the openness. Initial message must be short, be relevant, give positive action steps, be repeated, must not use nonsense, be judgmental, make promise that cannot be kept, include comedy. Source of social pressure appear in these questions. They ask, what will I gain? What will it cost me? What do those important to me want me to do? Can I actually carry it out? The STARCC principle. Your public message in a crisis must be S stand for simple, T timely, A accurate, R relevant, K credible, C consistent. Crisis communication plan. Element of a complete crisis communication plan. Signed validation from director. Designated staff responsibility. Information confirmation and clearness release procedure. Agreement on information release authorized. Media contact list procedure to coordinate with public health organization response teams. Designated spokespersons, emergency response team contact numbers, emergency response information partner contact numbers, partner agreements, Procedure plans on how to get resource you will need. Pre-identified of information distribution. Nine steps of crisis response. First step, when crisis occurs. Verify situation. Conduct a report. Conduct assessment. Activate crisis plan. Organize assignment, prepare information and obtain approvals, release information to media, public, partners through arranged channels, obtain feedback and conduct crisis evaluation, conduct public education, monitor events. First, 48 hours tools. This hour is very, very important for the organization to pass from the crisis. Critical first step checklist, message template for news release, media availability at site template, public call following sheet, 
media call sheet risk assessment for communication. Stakeholder partner communication. Stakeholders have a special connection to you and your participation in the emergency. They are interested in how the incident will impact them. Partners have a working relationship to you and collaborate in an official capacity on the emergency issue or other issues. They are interested in achieving their role in the incident and staying informed. Five common mistakes with stakeholders. Inadequate access, lack of clarity, no energy for response, too late or too little information, perception of overconfidence. Two reason to expand the emergency on stakeholders during an emergency. They may know what you need to know, have point of view outside your organization, communicate your message. Dealing with angry people. Anger arises when people have been hurt feel threatened by risk, out of their control, are not respected, have their fundamental belief channeled. Sometimes anger arises when media arrive, damage may be in tragedy. High violence public meeting, dues. The best way to deal with blam and violence by an audience is to accept that is exist. Don't say, I know how you feel. Practice active listening and try to avoid interrupting. State the problem and then the recommendation. High outage public meeting. Don't verbal misuse, don't upset your load, try to bring along a neutral third party who can step in and diffuse the situation. Don't look for one answer that fit all, don't promise what you cannot deliver. 